Are you a beginner cyclist? Here's four things that are really good for you to learn in the early stages of your cycling journey. The first is the ability to ride in a straight line. Now that might seem like a simple thing, but trust me, beginner cyclists sometimes really struggle with this one thing. And the biggest issue they have is that they're a little bit nervous. So the hands are on the handlebars and you're really tense. You're tense in the shoulders, you're gripping the handlebars really tight, and guess what happens? All that tension presents in oversteering the bike a little bit. Or being like all that tension comes out in the steering uh, part of the bike. So learning to relax a little bit is actually going to help you ride in a straight line. The other thing uh, to take into consideration is the slower you're moving, the harder it is to ride in a straight line. So the sooner you can get comfortable at a little bit of a higher speed, <clears throat> the sooner you're going to be able to keep that bike running straight. So keep in mind if you're just starting out, bring your speed up a little bit, that'll help you go straight. The bike wants to go straight and relax in your upper body a little bit. You know, still have control of the bars, but don't have all this tension going from your arms and your shoulders into the bars because that's going to make the bike swerve a little bit. Okay. One other little tip for you to go on a straight line is to look further up the road. If you're staring straight down at your bike wheel, it's a little bit crazy. And then things come at you much quicker. It's a lot safer if your line of sight is a little bit further up the road. Okay. Second thing. The ability to take a drink on your bike, especially if you're getting into some longer distance cycling, the ability to take a drink is really, really important because you don't want to go for, you know, two, three, four hours having not had any drink or nutrition because you're just too nervous to take one hand uh, off of the bars and grab a drink. Now, I understand why this one is a tricky one for beginners because you don't want to take a hand off the bike. It's a little nerve wracking. You know, you're probably nervous enough as it is with both hands on the bar. So here's a suggestion. Go to a grass field where it's safe. There's no cars. There's nobody else around. Ride your bike around the grass field and practice taking that bottle out and having a drink. Here's what you're going to find. You're going to find the more you practice it, the less you actually have to look down to grab that bottle. And that's the big mistake beginners make is they, their line of sight goes from looking down the road where it's safe and I can see cars and other cyclists and they have to look down to get that bottle because they're not sure if they're going to grab it. Eventually it'll be second nature. Your body and your nervous system will learn exactly where that bottle is. Keep that hand on the bar, take a drink, put it back. The whole time my line of sight has been down the road. And as I mentioned before, uh, if you're in a state where you're quite relaxed in the upper body and the, and the arms and you're not gripping that handlebar really tight, even when you take that hand off, this other one's going to stay nice and relaxed, that bike's going to stay in a straight line, you're going to get comfortable. So go to a grass field, give it a try, and then maybe the step up from that is to take it to an empty parking lot, okay, once you feel comfortable there, go to an empty parking lot where you have some room, keep practicing, and then you'll get more comfortable and before you know it, you won't even be thinking about it. Super easy. Shifting gears. For beginners, this can be challenging because again, it's something that's happening at the front of your bike. Maybe you're a little nervous and tense to start and now somebody's asking you to shift gears or the terrain is asking you to shift gears. But shifting gears is so essential on a road bike, especially if you're going to do long distance stuff. It'll help you be more efficient. It'll help you conserve energy if you can always be in the right gear. Now, similar to the taking a drink uh, tip, go to a grass field. Always start there. The consequences are so low in a grass field. If you fall over, eh, you'll be fine. It's a grass field. Uh, and then go to an empty parking lot um, where you know, you're on pavement now and you can just practice shifting those gears. Practice going into the big ring at the front or the small ring at the front. You know, shifting on this side, there's two ways to shift gears on a bike. You have to get comfortable with all of it. And like I keep saying, the best way to get comfortable is just to get on your bike and practice, 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 practice. And I promise you, after a certain amount of time, all this stuff is going to be second nature, but you have to practice. 
another great skill to develop for beginners, again, another one that's sometimes challenging for people, is the ability to stand up on your bike. Okay, why is this important? Well, standing up allows you to generate a little bit more power. And when do you need more power? Climbing hills. And unless you live somewhere where it's perfectly flat, the chances are you're gonna need, at some point, a little bit more power. So the ability to stand up is a really great school, uh, skill uh, to learn. Again, go to a grass field. Always start there. Consequences are low. Get out there. Get comfortable standing up on your bike. And if you've done all the other things first, so the ability to stay relaxed in the shoulders and the hands, that's gonna help keep the bike going in a straight line. Uh, if you've learned that stuff first, then standing up is, is a nice uh, thing to kind of advance to. Um, no problem, you'll get there. Um, the other thing to remember with standing up on a bike is that you want to make sure the bike kind of naturally rocks underneath your body. You don't want to hold the bike still, that's super awkward. Some people will hold that bike still and their bodies will be moving all over the place, okay? You want your body to be still and the bike to be rocking back and forth. The final thing I'll say about standing up on your bike is if the gear you're in is too easy, it's very awkward to stand up on your bike. So typically, if you know you're about to stand, shift it into one or two gears that are a little bit harder to give you a little bit more resistance and it'll feel a lot easier uh, to do that. So let's recap again. Uh, learning to ride in a straight line, really important for beginners. Learning to take a drink, especially if you're gonna do some long distance riding or riding with groups where maybe they're not stopping on your time schedule but you really need a drink. Learning to take a drink is really important. Learning to shift gears properly. Practice, practice, practice. And finally, learning to stand up on your bike so in the times that you need a little bit more power, it'll be there for you, no problem.